Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to. Uh, oh, you can all say hello. 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 So, year seven. Year seven. Say hello. Hello. Awesome. Right. Okay. So. Hello. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've got this. I've got this zinc. Okay. So I'm going to. I don't know why I transferred it. But, uh, I've got the zinc, and I've got the copper oxide, which when you're grown up uh, will be called copper two oxide. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, so I've got around about maybe 1.6 grams of copper two oxide, and I've got uh, around about two grams of zinc. And all I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to mix it up, just start to mix it up here, okay? So mix, mix, mix. And can you remember the type of reaction that we're going to be conducting? What's the big name for it? Displacement no noise. Noise. So it's like a competition reaction and it's a specific one. It's a displacement reaction. All right. Okay. So I've mixed it up here. I'm just going to quickly show. Okay. Right, okay, so here I have now, I now have a, uh, a tin lid. I'm trying to think, should I do it this way or should I do it? I think I'll do it this way, okay? So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour it, uh, but I'm going to pour it in a specific shape. And the, the shape that I'm going to be making is a, in the form of a sajuk sausage. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so, here we go. All right. So, now what I am going to do is I'm going to heat it up. I'm just going to make it a little more sausage shape. This way. Okay. All right. Right, are we, are we ready? Are we ready? Yes. Super do. Right, okay, so let's get on with it. Uh, this is usually the moment where I find that the gas is not working. Oh, right, okay, so. So, I'm a trained professional, so we don't go around holding bunts and nerves, okay? So, don't do it, okay? All right. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, heat this. I'll bring the camera up so you can see it if you're watching on YouTube. There we go. Okay. All right, so, here we go. Now, as soon as it starts doing it, I will uh, touch it. So now what I'm going to do is, I've let it cool down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, transfer the powder into some acid, okay? Transfer the powder, powdery uh, product and any unreacted uh, reactant. It is still quite warm underneath. Just go okay, tap, tap, tap. Okay, did you feel that it was warm? So this is, uh, energy is transferred to the surroundings. So start off with a high store of chemical energy, goes to a low store of chemical, low store of chemical energy. Now, where has that energy been transferred to? The what store of the what? The thermal energy store of the surroundings. All right, okay. Sage, shape, sujuke, so shape, product into here, okay? Right. 
Okay, and uh, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to give it a quick stir, okay? Okay, so stirring it, what's actually happening here is the acid uh, is going to be reacting with any of the uh, product. Now you will, note, you will have noticed that uh, the product was a yellow product, but in the hotter parts, uh, so it's going, to, it's going to react with the uh, yellow product or white product, uh, that was the zinc oxide. Uh, it's also going to react with any unreacted uh, copper oxide, which is the black powder. So the, the reaction is going to make a product that can dissolve in the acid, and it's also going to react with uh, the zinc oxide, which is one of the products, and any unreacted zinc that's in... <laughs> Got an electric personality, what can I say? Um, any uh, unreacted zinc uh, also reacts with the acid as well. I hope you can see that, it's a red metal powder. Okay, have a look at that. It looks like hot chocolate. Yeah. Interesting. So it's got a consistency of hot chocolate. YouTube. So what I'm doing is I'm just filtering off uh, I'm going to make this easier for me. I'm just going to decant uh, as much of the acid as possible because I'm actually interested in the residue. Okay, so it's not the liquid that I'm interested in, it's the actual solid. Okay. And so what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get rid of as much of the liquid as possible. I'm using a filter just in case it washes through, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now try and get as much of this powder onto paper towels so it can dry rapidly, okay? Are you okay saying for paper? Paper. Okay, so I've just rinsed off the acid, so the only thing that is left over is this powder, okay? I have to do this really, really carefully now, because what I want to do is I want to try and get this in a line, okay? We're going to see if my light bulb lights up, and if it lights up, that means that I have a conducting... Oops. No, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Here we go. Whoa! Are you impressed? Yes! They're impressed, there we go. Fantastic. Brilliant. Uh, if you'd like to try this, uh, I'll switch the video off and I'll let you try this now, as long as you've got your goggles on. Hey, got copper. Hold well on. So, just an example of a, of a metal. How is it a metal if it isn't like shiny? Like okay, so you don't have to touch the ends in order for that to conduct. Yeah. There we go. Let me just bring it together as a whole. Try that. There we go. Convinced? Okay. So if you could if you could do it right now, uh, and what I'll do is I'll zoom. I'll try and zoom. In. Where's the light? There it is. Okay, go on. And it's definitely not touching yet. There we go. Cool as that. Cool. All right. 